Hello everyone and welcome back to Fran Bow. This is probably gonna be the last chapter, so I hope you enjoy. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. Okay, so how do I contact the other world? I painted this one, it's Kitty and me. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained up, are you dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. This looks like I'm in the asylum. Did you meet it word already? He's always talking about that. So this must be a different reality where I'm inside the asylum, ever since as a little kid. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it, the only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. Yep, and we already did that with pills. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. It's Leon from the book. Oh, can you tell me then? Why we see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chains. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I can control her. Okay, what can I do here? I'm just shirts. The shirt is angry. Blue scarf. And we just have a bunch of toys over here. Like to make it cry. Why? Melody. Dr. Oswald. Yep, we're definitely in the hospital. Okay, what's this? It's Edward and Ithirsta. Oh, so she actually have has been to Ithirsta. Straight jacket. My clothes. Why do I have a key collection? The door is closed. Here you go. Oh no. Is it this one? Nope. There we go. Why do I have the key to that? Thank you so much, Fran. Hee <laughs> hee. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Polantris told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. What does that even mean? Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, and he told me that if we met, he'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. It's the nurse. Come on, Fran, you must see the doctor now. She doesn't see me. Oh no. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. The nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. I don't think that's true. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay, I want to look at the golden box. Twice on the left, once on the right, two in the middle. Okay, this ear right here. One, two, one, one, two. And then take it by his left ear. And then once on the eye. It's not working. Ooh, a magazine. I love this comic. Okay. I don't think I need that though. A doll. Here's this thing. Regular scarf. 
more clothes. Ooh, a picture. Who's this? This is Alice from school. We like to play together. Why does she look like Alice in the Wonderland? Stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. So is this supposed to be connected to Alice in the Wonderland? Or is it just like an Easter egg or something? And I can take this. What else? A dollhouse. Why can I move stuff? More toys. Another photo. Mr. Midnight. Aw, oh, that's cute. Mr. Midnight's bed. The painting. Time on the cuckoo clock. Can I go out the window? What the? Where am I? This is definitely not the right reality. What is a Kamala? Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. Um. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do, don't worry. The house looks old and bloody. I don't know what I can do with all this. Whoa, what's this? Balloons. Wait, there's a key. Oh, okay. Maybe I can get that out. There we go. Okay, so that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, I can take that. I don't know why. One, two. One. One, two. One. One. Finally, it worked. I was doing the wrong ear. I said his left ear, so I thought I'd uh, see it from the other perspective. A clock made by Cogwind. Okay, so I need a bunch of stuff. And then there's a poem. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read all that. So I have to wake up Mabuka. Can I use this key on the cat? What's that do? Oh. It gives me a door. Where are we going? What the? Who is this? What a big guy. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? I wonder if that's me. Okay, I was in 101. What about 102? No. Another key. Oh, that key worked for 104. Okay. What is this? Intruder. Infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Makula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal? A queen? A princess? I thought you see everything. No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Bye. I'll take the airbrush. What is this? A golden snail. Whoa. What's this? I don't know what that did. A mirror that is transparent. Whoa, I can go in the painting. What is this, Mario 64? So to get a key, I need to insert a button. What about this? Well, I got a cord. And a bottle. Can I get down there? Bye, weird thing. 
Okay, let's try a key. It works. What are you? Dead skulls on the wall. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't, he never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth. I see. Let's see what I can do to get the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now, just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remmer was king here. Ah, Remmer, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. What about you? No. Itward's clothes, but where is he? Bone doesn't work. Itward's hat. Hello. I'll take whatever I can. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about a heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with your hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that'd be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours. Oh, thanks. Thought I'd have to do something. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Turn on the water. Ooh, I can fill up the water balloons. There we go. Okay, I also need a bottle with water. There we go. Hello, tree. Would you like a water balloon? Oh no. Really, stop missing. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A branch. What do I need that for? There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Hope you find it. See you around. Inside the little house. But I already know about the key. Do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare, that's all. Maybe welfare to me is to bleed until my body dries up. And pain could be the crystalline laugh of a child. So yes, I feel pain. I see. Well, I'll go now. Bye. Do Google what to do, because I was really confused. If you flip the switch down, that turns these lights off. I don't know how I didn't notice that. That gives me the bulb I need. Now in my room in the closet, I can cut off the button from the third dress. There you go. Now that's as far as my research goes. And I assume I use the button here. Now what? Okay, can I turn? Oh. I got pliers. Is that all this does? Do the pliers work here? Oh. Sorry. Oh, thank you. How could you? I hope somebody takes your teeth out as well. Well, the tooth fairy already took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? What key does this go to? I'll try 102. Yep. Whoa. Wow, what a big cat. You look like Mr. Midnight. 
A wake up clock. Can I have that? Thank you. All I need is one glove. What's in here? Okay, what is this? What the? Oh, I can walk across. Hello tree, you're big. What are those red things coming out? What do you do? Oh, it takes me somewhere else. What the, it's you. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just beside you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Can I use the brush on you? Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Aww. It worked. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Bye, Lucifern. Oh, that's cute. Can I use the branch? There we go. Oh no, I don't have a branch anymore. How do I get the glove? Oh, just like that. And I got all the stuff I need. What? Did that work? No, I put my wire in the hatch. Why'd I do that? Wait a minute. I can put all this stuff in there. Oh, is this for combining it all? There we go, it worked. Oh. Well, I got it. Thanks, cat. Okay, final key. 103. Whoa. Where am I? Little girls in Mabuka's den always die. Human skulls. There's animals in here too. Where are there animals? You don't scare me one bit. The floor is beating like a heart. Okay, let's talk to Mabuka. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka, do you? Arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. And so you know him. I assume you've been into a Thirsta. Horrid place, I say. Too what dazzling. That? Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. I think there's a typo. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Let's use the clock. What does that do? She's awake. Ah, beware of my buka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, a human girl, 11 years old and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remmer. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potions or beans? Uh-oh. Uh, so maybe it wasn't a good idea to look at the ultra-reality. 
beans. My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I took the whole bottle. Oh no, that's not good. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. Wait, so maybe that's a good thing? I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Oh, they chose me. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Valakas from Permeef told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remer killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am everything sinister. All the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remmer killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. I wonder why they trust me. The Keeper of the Key. Why was I chosen? What the... Why is this place so peaceful? Oh, that creature's body is made out of babies' faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Did you stab all your friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Eh, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. So what was that one telephone for? Will I need to go back there? Well, I got a number. It's locked. But there's no keyhole. Or I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours, maybe days. Ha, huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have a number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R.I. has been blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Arr, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it'd be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to better understand each other. We understand each other very well, with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is it that sees all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Ah, uh, alright, thanks for nothing. Isn't the one who sees all the giant eyeball? Do you see the screen? I have number two, it's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? 
Can you tell me what illnesses the creature as ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be okay when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so he can go back to Aetherstone and be happy. Mmm, lovely pain, so profound. There we go. The bottle's now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your tickets. Thank you, eyeball. Akula, whatever. Here you go. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me, haha. <laughs> How lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, there you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Bye. Number two, I can go now. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Huh. <sighs> Lucky, but how do I get an appointment then? Ah, uh, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. 0122217276 But why must I call you? Why can't you make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, uh, alright, I'll go make a call then. Okay, 0122217276 Two, seven, six. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Franbo. Uh-huh, I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute, then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. Let's go. Can I go now? Hello, patient number two. Yes, I do. Yes, friend Bo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. Oh my gosh. Are you patient one? I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. If you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Bye, ghost. Okay, I'm gonna go. It's you, Remmer. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remmer, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. 
Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. What? No, it can't be. Stop it. I don't believe this. As if it's impossible for Remmer to lie to us. Not to mention, how would a child take their parents by surprise and somehow slash through them with such precision that it's perfectly clean cuts? With the kitchen knife. Literally impossible. And plus, there weren't stab wounds like that. They were just clean slashes. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. I think Remmer's just trying to torment me. Who was it, my darling, who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. He wants me to take the blame. I didn't kill my parents. I didn't. That monster wants to trick me, I know it. Exactly. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Of course he'd want me to believe I killed my parents, because why would I? Dr. Dearn. My cat. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Does that mean the red pills are wearing off? Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. So it's either this place, or maybe I can't speak to him without the pills. I'll take you to Aetherstam, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, all right? He seems to be in trouble. How do I help him? Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? I don't know. Hmm. Some sort of injection. Red fluid. That helps you see the ultra reality. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. Buttons. No, don't do that. What if I use this? Hee <laughs> hee, maybe this will wake him up. Please don't kill him. Ah, dang. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn. It's me, Fran. Ah, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bowser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran, monsters. I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh no. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Arr, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? That's Dr. Oswald. How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald, from Oswald Asylum. Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Oh, so they're twins. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remmer did a great job. I knew it. I knew it was Remmer. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. Is that true? But it can't be. They have to be lying to me because how would I have been able to cut through them like that? That doesn't make sense. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remmer all the time, but why is he hunting me? Remmer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But actually did you a favor. You are suffering. 
and pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me, we're family. Let us go, my kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. No, I don't believe her, don't trust her. Oh no. Go with your aunt, Fran. Isn't that what you want? Dr. Dearn's asleep again. That's not good. What? Step away from the edge. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Why? My cat. No, no, kitty. He can't be gone. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah, I hate you. What am I doing? Stop it, Fran. Help, help. Please help. What's a little girl gonna do? Oh my gosh. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. What the... Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. You literally murdered my cat. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. What the? Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You are right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. It word. Dr. Dearn. Oh, Fran, everything will be all right. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprote, palantras monocaste. Gorska, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Mr. Midnight, little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. I'm healed. Why would my aunt betray me? And I really hope her and Dr. Oswald are destroyed. Oh, what happened? It hurt. Palantras. My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go. All right. Dr. Dearn, look, this is it, word in Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? What? No, he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. No, we really must leave, now. But can't
can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you, Palantris. Let's go. Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Dearn. Onum Vecma Sudden Sla Ecto. Bye, Dr. Dearn. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. The end. Finish Fran Bow. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. Yay, we made it. We get to live in peace and I thirst out. Oh, that's a nice ending. I still don't understand why my aunt would betray me. I guess you could take this as none of it being real, but I don't think that's the case. I feel like it makes more sense if you just take it at face value. I'm still not sure if I really killed my parents. And if I did, it's definitely what they said. I was under Remmer's influence. But then again, that could have just been a lie to make me miserable. Because we know that they're planning to do something with me being afraid and feeling awful. They wanted me to feel terrible on purpose. But what I don't know is why. And also, why couldn't Dr. Deeran see the world around us? Was that real? Was I really in the fifth reality? Maybe because of the pills, we weren't only seeing the fifth reality. What if we were seeing a combination of both the fifth reality and the third reality, which is our world? And they say I killed my parents, which I already explained how it could be false. But what if it was actually Grace who did that? Who killed her sister? Because we already know that she was in on it, and I'm sure her and Dr. Oswald were the ones who found me in the woods. And I really do think it could have been her because we know that my parents went out and I was staying with my Aunt Grace, and then I went to sleep. And then next thing you know, I wake up, walk into the room, and find that they're both dead. And we know that Grace works with the hospital, which would have given her the opportunity to, I don't know, slip some sleeping pills into my parents' drink or something, and then she could easily cut them up. It just doesn't make sense that a little child would have been able to do all that, even if they were possessed by some demon or whatever. Dr. Oswald wanted to take my body to experiment on, even though I was already dead. And we know from the sisters that when they killed each other, he still took their bodies and sewed them together. So that makes me wonder, what kind of experiment did he want to do with my body? I guess he wanted to study my brain or something? Maybe the effects of the pills on it? Who knows, maybe he wanted to see the difference between a mind that can see the ultra reality, or maybe how to recreate a keeper of the keys, because if he does that, then that'd allow him to have power to open doors into Aethersta and I think maybe other realms. I just don't think that it makes sense that Fran could have killed her parents, because it's physically not possible. So it was definitely either Grace or Remmer. Probably Remmer, because he's the one with supernatural abilities, so he'd easily be able to take them by surprise. I like that with this game, you could either take it metaphorically, or you could take it literally. It really could go either way if you wanted it to. Anyway, that will be all, and not many people wanted to see this game, but for anyone who did stay and watch, I'm glad you did, and I hope you enjoyed it. That will be all, like, subscribe, and goodbye.